Welcome Arithmetic Ninjas to question 23, 0.5 times 28. Now there's two ways you could do this. You could instantly recognise that 0.5 is a half and do a half times 28, which would be a half of 28. Half of 28 is 14, so the answer is 14. However, that's only going to work if it's 0.5. What would you do if it was 0.4? Well, the other way that you could do it, which would also work for 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.6. So the other way that would work would be to ignore the decimal point. So ignore the decimal point and pretend that that says 5 times 28. So 5 times 28, let's work that out. 5 eighths of 40, put the 0 in, carry the 4. 5 to use a 10, plus the 4 is 14. So if 5 28 is 140, 0.5 is when you're making the 5 10 times smaller into 0.5. So you would need to make the 140 10 times smaller into 14.0. And obviously, 14.0 is exactly the same as 14. So that would also work for 0.4 or 0.6 or 0.8. So let's say it was 0.7 times 28. We could just do, again, take out the decimal point and do 28 times 7. Okay, 7 eighths of 56. Put the 6 in, carry the 5. 7 twos of 14 plus the 5 is 19. So if 7 28 are 196, 0 0.7 28 is 10 times smaller than 7. So you're making that 196 10 times smaller which would be 19.6. And that would work any time.